So let's call this meeting to order. Um, I sent you all Susan's minutes from last time about five minutes ago, which I guess you'd had a month ago, but uh, could we have a mi uh, motion to approve the minutes? Uh, also move. Sure. Seem fine to me. Okay, second. Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Uh -huh. Um, so the first agenda item is the site plan review, which again, I did not send you to last night, um, which is for a landscaping firm buying something kind of in the elbow, catty oh, corner, armpit. armpit is better. <laughs> yes, you're right. Armpit. Catty corner from LaSalle's property. Is that... Oh, no, yeah, it's, it's over down. next to the junk shop and across next to the from junk the shop. place. Oh, I'm wrong. Okay. Okay. It's um, it's kind of between the junk shop, the home store, and then there's a house to the north. Uh, and this little lot and then the junk shop. So well, it's yeah, it's next to the junk good. shop on the on the west side of um, on the five or ten crosses in any one would like. Okay. So I just revealed that although I was driving all around doing errands for much of the day, I did not get to 83 State Road. So, but several of you have, I think. Well, I know it is. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's just, it's just to put up a building and install a septic tank, and and a driveway. There's, there's. Right. There's nothing. Nothing. Else much is there. It's an above ground septic system too. It's what it sounds like. I couldn't, I didn't really read the specs for the septic system because that's what the Board of Health has to sign off on. But yeah, yeah. looks pretty elaborate, but they, they will sign off before anything happens. Yeah. Um, so should we simply send our typical letter saying if you find any artifacts or evidence of archaeological? It's so unlikely. It's it's on top of the I ninety one disturbance right. zone. Right. I was going to say anything that was just to, to be disturbed was it disturbed. Might find Hoffa. You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that could happen. Do he's buried pretty deep, so uh, you just haven't looked there, Alan. You don't under know. Under the hill, I'm you need a big backhoe. <laughs> well, this this actually raises then um, a, a question that is at the back end of my question on the agenda about when should we be, when should we be discussing site plan uh, submissions at all? Um, if we think there is really no chance that there will be, that anything will be found, is it better not to send a letter or to send a letter? You never know that. You okay, so it, is, so it is fine to send a letter. I think we could ask the planning board to make that a standard commission condition. Um, I yeah. think that would be a good idea. I, I, I mean, I know. Um, why don't you? Why don't you write perhaps, a list? Yeah. Include that in your in your letter. Right, mm -hmm. and then we wouldn't have to send pro forma letters. I mean, I did after one of our discussions reach out to Don to say. Do you, when we send you letters, do you, do, you know, what do you do with them? <laughs> and he did not answer. Um, and since then, I think on your suggestion, Judy, I've been writing both to Don and to the planning board uh, generic email address yeah. uh, to make sure that, because occasionally our letters do say something specific. You know, yeah, and Grant, Grant Chikis is the one who, um, is now reviewing all the planning board mail mm -hmm. since oh. because the previous reviewer wasn't too act too thorough. Right. Um, and that would take care of it, you think, Judy, to make it a, to make it a, to ask that it be a a standard request. I think the well then the, then the planning board would, would vote it, but they're yeah, it's it's gotten pretty routine anyway, so I don't think it'd be a problem. And would that mean it would actually go in a piece of correspondence from the planning board? 
yeah, what happens is that the planning board develops a list of conditions and they go along with the approval to, to, the, to the applicant so and to the inspector. So, so what we would be asking for specifically would be to have the archeological review be um, included in the list of conditions and give them wording. Yeah, okay. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, is that everybody okay with that? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, great. Um, so when should we be looking at these site plan submissions? Uh, I, I thought of a couple of criteria, um, but does anybody else want to, you know, somebody else like to start to say when we should be? Well, archaeology is expensive, so as soon as possible. <laughs> No, I'm sorry. I, I was I was being colloquial. I mean, when we see when we have a chance to look at a site plan sub submission, what characteristics do we want to say we will always review them? We decided kind of by email last month not to review the other one after Judy said all they're doing is doing some additional work inside the greenhouses. And I thought, well, that makes perfect sense, but we we really ought to know. We, we ought to have agreed when we're looking at them and when we are not. Well, we, might, we, might, we might not always have a member of the planning board on the historical commission. It's certainly not required. I came up with a short list. Of, one is anything that's in a historic district. Right. Anything with a structure on the town inventory on the right. microscope. Macris, right. Uh, I would probably add anything on one of our scenic roads that would then. Sorry, yeah. I probably, which was yeah, probably on your list. And then, um, and I'm not sure how we define this, but anything a sensitive archaeological spot. And I'm thinking up in places on around Glen Road or or around uh, Fairview Farms down there. That kind of thing. There are criteria that people use to decide what areas are sensitive and what are not or likely to be, likely to be inhabited or used by prehistoric folks. I'm not sure how much that applies to historic stuff. We usually have structures and the like that have some, some influence on what we're interested in doing. So historic landmarks do matter or historic inventories. Um, can you, you can, is, are they published somewhere? Is there a list you could? I don't know if I could find them. Take, let me take a look and see what people are using around here. So the, the contract people have a, a set of criteria for likelihood, um, you know, things they might be likely to find for different time periods. Like, but uh, that, like that river was, terraces and yeah, you know, water there's, features there's, and yeah. Um, I can look. I will look that up. I, I think that's not too hard to find. Okay. Makes me think about mill sites too. Yeah. Right. Uh, so, uh, Alan, the list you're looking for is explicitly for prehistoric sites. Uh, no, prehistoric. Yeah. Okay. It, it's it's probably. I mean, it'll be great to have that codified somehow. But I, it's probably the historic sites writ large that are, are more yeah. complicated. I mean, I, for example, given that the tobacco barns have been called out as an, you know, an important resource of this town. I'd probably say we ought to look at anything that is on a property with a tobacco barn on it. Um, I, that doesn't mean we're going to do something, but it would be, a, it's a flag, um, particularly after the unfortunate backing and forthing with the uh, purple greenhouse properties. Um, speaking of which, Judy, it, this makes me think, remember they promised us that they were going to take photographs of those barns? Um, we never got photographs of those barns. The, that, that whole application is up in the air. The, um, the grower withdrew, so the owner is trying to put together another package so nothing has happened 
so maybe we can have, we'll have another chance to express an opinion. Yeah, or yeah. anyway, it, it might, I mean, the poor guy spent millions to buy the thing and then- 12, 12, yes. <laughs> and, then, and then his deal fell apart. So he's in sort of the same situation that John LaSalle is, but- um, Larger but scale. Different. Yeah. Um, Anything else that comes what to about mind? Stone, what about stone walls? I'm not. Well, the, I, I, of course, the thing about stone walls is that we know that our undergraduate friend found, I don't remember how many miles of them he found, and Allison convinced us that he found not all of our stone walls. Um, not even close. <laughs> Oh, yeah. But we do, with our own LIDAR resources and his maps, have some, some ability to flag properties with historic stone walls on them. Well, in theory, they ought to show up on the, on the whatever plans are submitted. Because they're supposed to show topographical features. Hmm. Hmm. That's theory. Yeah, I'm not sure they always... But yeah, I mean, if you're... If you're or that they're always recognized. Um, it's, it's, and we're, you know, we're only coming up with a list of certain characteristics that would inspire us to take a closer look. We're not making a decision one way or the other about what our response would be. Yeah, no, this is, yeah. these are flags, flags, yeah. I, guess. I mean, thinking maybe we can just safely ignore things that don't have flags, which... Um, and it's good to be reminded that there are other um, town committees that will also be looking. So, for example, just to pick a really obvious one, we don't have to worry about proximity to wetlands because the Conservation Commission yeah. is doing that. We don't have to worry about septic systems because Becky and Fran and Mike are doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't. I would hope not to cost, to minimize the prehistoric uh, archaeology alerts too much because it, uh, it would seem to me, Alan, that there's plenty of places in this town that that might be possible sites. Just because we don't hear about them or know about them yet, doesn't mean they're not there. Yeah, there's plenty of farmers who have picked up all kinds of stuff in their Yeah, field. and I think we should pay more attention to that. I don't think it's something that's really been explored very much in this town, but it's it, not because we don't have it for other reasons. There and is, and place, maybe, maybe some Indian of you... Hill. What'd you say? Yeah. If, if the historic name for a place is Indian Hill, you might think there might be something there. Right. There are a lot of right. prehistoric thing, um criteria that overlap some of the wetlands criteria and things like, like that, but they have different, um, so different reasons for them, so are different implications. They, they tend, don't they, Alan, to be more geologic in reference? A lot of them are, because that's what people have to look at. In, right, you know, so right. Geology and soils and the like. There yeah. isn't, maybe some of you have read it, but I just read an extraordinary article in the New Yorker of a few weeks ago about um, excavation in Texas, mm -hmm. where uh, the private landowner essentially owns anything that is on property. And, and it's actually quite interesting about the um, clashes between the professional archeologists and the amateurs, some of whom are quite serious. Um, and then, of course, they start to find bodies. Have you guys, uh, Alan, you've watched the, the detectorists, Alan? Have you watched yeah. that? Yeah. yeah. It's very different in Europe. <laughs> well, no, but that's the same kind of thing between the amateurs yeah. and the professionals oh, yeah. and the yeah. landowners and then and then the layer of the, the state and the uh, antiquities yeah. laws. Yeah. Right, right, which in Texas is not an issue. No, no. <laughs> except for <laughs> except for NAGPRA, except for the federal the federal law, should they choose to recognize it. You know? Right. Um, so um, Judy, do you want to read back what we're thinking of? 
uh, including? I have historic district, Macris listings, scenic roads, tobacco barns, um, prehistoric, well, archeological mm -hmm. sites. I mean, some of them might be historic too, but mm -hmm. um, stone walls. We have in town houses that are antique structures that are antique, not just 50 years old, but 100, 200 years old, but have never been put in macros. There aren't very many. Uh, but you there sure? are some. But there are some. Do you think? Do you think they're all in macros? The only one I know about is Lynn Sibley's. Well, I'm, thinking about, it, went through I'm thinking about East Waitley. There are some old farms, you know, some there's old farms. There's Go several ahead. area area forms. Maybe they're in the area forms. Um, well, is what's the criteria to get into? Is there a, a date cutoff? Is there because that's a rolling that's a rolling number, you know. If it that thing has to yeah. be fifty or a hundred years old, eventually it will be fifty and a hundred years old. Fifty, fifty is the. Oh well, that that seems like a short interval. Yeah, that's um, nineteen seventy-two. Yeah, well, I think, yeah, I think we don't. Well, I know when we got to this in Weston, we we started saying, well, after forty-five, we should be a little more dis after nineteen forty-five. Maybe we need to be a little more discriminating, but um. right. And we we had this conversation for uh, for another topic because I remember saying, you know, if we had a really fabulous mid-century modern structure in this house in this town, I'd be saying we should put it. I think that we were talking about that when you were talking about the diner. In yeah, fact, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. yeah. Uh, I I. I mean, Alan was probably on the historical commission, but I, I think, Allison, that what happened was in 1993, the historical commission got a grant and hired uh, the person whose name I've forgotten, who did all the entries and yep. she ran out of time. And then I, I, I wonder if anything has been done since. Right, but, well, and that's I mean, 30 years ago. So things that yeah. were 50 years old then, you know, are now 80 years old. Yeah. Well, we I did mean, that. We did that review, and about the things that were had changed. You know, some of them are gone. Um, no, we, we 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 reviewed. I mean, we removed things from Macris because they have fallen down or been moved. But um, well, I think. Well, I was surprised at how complete it was because I had been going in thinking that it wasn't especially. So I can't guarantee you that everything is there, but it was mm -hmm. much more complete than I'd expected. But we, I mean, um, you've added five or six, updated and added, maybe just mm -hmm. updated so far. I added, so, I added the library. You added, added the library. Okay. I updated. You updated the milk, the milk bottle. bottle. The, post office, the town hall, and the uh, Oliver Morton. Mm -hmm. I guess, um, I guess what I'm thinking is that, it, well, if a structure from the 19th century <laughs> If work was performed on, on a property with a structure from the 19th century, whether it was on Macris or not, I would want to, us to look and see. Yeah, yeah. 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 So so this list is we're putting together is flags. It's not meant to exclude our it, it, it's I, I think the real purpose is to what prevent us to spending to time on something that you know, really yeah, doesn't yeah, yeah. have any historical yeah. potential. Is there anything else? Do you put the mail sites on here on your list? Oh, no, I didn't.
Okay, I think. I think one thing for us to remember ourselves is that MACRIS includes structures that aren't necessarily buildings like bridges and. Um, mm -hmm. For what? Mm -hmm. And monuments, although we don't have very many. Yeah. Well, we can, you know, when, when we do the minutes, this is not necessarily a, this is one of those lists that can be added to easily enough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I'm, is this okay? Every, shall we move on? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Um, other business, uh, one small item, um, Judy, you had raised just an email whether we wanted to um, express an opinion about the spending of the new Complete Streets grant in town center. Uh, am I, did anybody else go to look at the plans last week? When, yeah. it, it's, um, it, it's really exactly what we had proposed based on the, uh, the ad hoc work we did with the Conway School um, seven years ago now. It's mm -hmm. finishing extending what everyone seems now to call affectionately the sidewalk to nowhere, <laughs> it, but in asphalt, down through the double rows of trees. So only past four houses ending at ours, and then around our property line and the, the Brooks property line, it uh, veers gently over to the road and the final crosswalk will be put there from essentially from the Brooks driveway to the church. Um, Is that's... any work being done uh, on the other side of the road? No, no. I don't know why the sidewalk in front of the church was not included. Um, I mean, it's awkward that it's narrow and it's more awkward because the shrubs, you know, over, yeah. uh, you know, that's, that's just a, uh, landscaping issue. So I don't know that. Um, do you think it should? Well, it's not just that. I mean, the whole sidewalk there is the whole, that whole side didn't get addressed, did it? South of Haydenville? Oh yeah, it's down, down to Maida Goodwin's house. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. down quite a ways. It did not go yeah. in the front of the church, you're right. It, no, I think what Keith did was to replace the town sidewalk and perhaps the little sidewalk in front of the church was the church's sidewalk. Probably. If, if it wasn't, then I don't know, then the church, I mean, I bet, I bet a little more asphalt wouldn't be a big deal. Hmm. It would certainly be nicer to have a nice sidewalk, wide sidewalk for people who are coming to act, uh, events at the church, wouldn't it? Yeah, and walkers and everything. Um, yeah, it's not really it's it's not really an historical <laughs> commission issue. I, I mean, no, no, it's it's a it's an issue for the church because there's right. there's lighting there and there's you know obviously the shrubs would have to come out, which they should anyway. But um, yeah, it's not a trivial expense. Yeah, yeah, I mean. Alice and I don't think you were present at any of them, but Judy and Alan will remember that at a couple of the hearings when we had the Conway School do the work in the center of town, um, <laughs> the Conway School proposed extending the sidewalk um, on the uh, west side uh, down to the edge of the historic district, mm -hmm. which is to the boundary of uh, Jay Kaplan and Marie Ellen Hewitt's house, which is number 155, I know, and then George Reynolds' house. And uh, several of those residents were hugely enthusiastic about that, and one, in, <laughs> one not, which oh, yeah. I don't know. But, I, and then at one point, I had heard some discussion of maybe extending it all the way down to the Waitley Center Woods. But uh, uh, I bet, well, you can't. I, I, in front you of Tom Litwin's house. You couldn't get in front of Tom Litwin's house because um, there isn't enough flat land and- Or dry land. Flat or dry, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, the only other thing on there, uh, well, there is 
you know, they're they're building a proper sidewalk from the from the elementary school out to um, Long Plain Road, not an historical commission issue. Um, there are a couple of intersections in Haydenville Road that are being improved slightly. And I will be honest and say the plans are actually quite hard to interpret. And I, uh, they really? didn't, it didn't look major to me. It didn't look major to me. I don't think Brian and Keith have put the plans up on the website. Um, but again, that was in the complete streets. Uh, I mean, there is a multi-million dollar list of projects that would be eligible that an ad hoc committee put in order of priorities and those Haydenville Road adjustments were in that. Uh, oh. there's, there's nothing new. Um, so do you do you want to talk about the Waitley Diner or not, Judy? Yeah, well, yeah. just briefly, I have not heard from the company. And I at this point think I will not. Um, it seems to me that given that I think I would like to go ahead and update the inventory anyway. And that will require some photos. And I was hoping that one of one or both of you two good photographers might be willing to take some exterior and in interior photos that we could use. Of the diner? Of the diner. Um, and then with an updated inventory, we could send it to Mass Historical Commission and ask if in fact they feel that uh, it's still eligible for listing, which I'm 99% sure they will say yes. And Alan, are you dying to go to the diner? Uh, no, but I could. Well, I can if you, if you, if it's right easier now, for me. Right now I'm immobile, so. Okay. Barely mobile. But. All right, I'll, I'll do it. it. It can't be that hard. No, there's no super rush on this, but. Um, Only yeah. for me not to forget it. Yeah. <laughs> there is Maybe a. The, is good. There is a very nice old image of the diner that looks like. Um, gosh, I had the name of the artist. It looks like a painting by one Hopper. of the. No, not Hopper. Oh, one no. of the 60s um, photo realist. <laughs> that it, was a commercial. It, yeah, well, they those those 1960s photo realist uh, artists were almost all commercial artists who became you know, <laughs> fine artists. And but in the middle of the night, of I will remember his name and send you all a note. <laughs> that was part of a uh, Connecticut River Valley diner series that this oh, was nice. photographed. Yeah. There was a Northampton artist whose name I can't think of that yeah, uh, I think that's was, that painted Miss Flo's a couple of times and did um Gregory, not Gregory Stone, but somebody like that. Is that right? Gregory Stone? I don't know. And this was a photographer and but he sold he sold photographs and and uh, and the thing that I found was a postcard, wasn't it? Well, could well have been. I mean, they were. Yeah. Well, although, I mean, obviously, the postcard was, was something postcard. before it was a postcard. Postcard book. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. I think um, that might also be on their website. I don't. We could pirate that. I was little on. If if they had said go ahead, I would say we could just use the photos on their website, but they haven't said that. So. How about mm -hmm. Estes, Donna? You thinking of Estes? Yes. Yes, that is who I'm thinking of, Richard Estes. Very see, good. he was hyper. He was hyper. See, Allison's six or seven years younger than I, so she has many more brain cells. <laughs> <laughs> that's just not true. <laughs> I'm from wearing the hat all the time. That's right. That's right. It keeps us. I take cells. it off, and my hair's a mess. I can't take it, it off. Put it on, Judy. You don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> it's raining. It's wet. Um. <laughs> So Judy, thank you for doing that. <laughs> and no one will bother you to say, are you finished yet? <laughs> um, do we have any other business? Could I ask just about the photos inside the diner, Judy? Just yeah. sort of general shots? Yeah. I, I, like of the counter and the booth? Well, things that look uh, 
historic, you know, look like they've been like there for the customers. Only the, <laughs> the, the jukeboxes, the jukeboxes, the Art Deco kinds of the neon yeah, signs. The, yeah, okay. Now the Art Deco stuff is not really Art Deco because it's dated. Wasn't it made in the in 1950-ish? Or is they remodeled the place inside, didn't they? Which they might even be earlier than that, but the, the inside has been remodeled. So I think, I don't think it's the original. Excuse mm -hmm. me, I've got to be my eye. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but it's still quite classic looking. I, mean, I really, I like, um, I've never been in the diner, but um, on the, um, there's an unfinished wall trying to think of get my direction straight on the west side it must be that has in faded painting another name it's not I, chatham but it starts with a c i it's think that was for the movie wasn't it was I, it that, that, that appeared about the time of the movie oh that's yeah. interesting so that's yeah, i think that's fake. that's, that's the name that's the movie name dexter spolia <laughs> yeah, yeah. No wonder I had never noticed it that's before. To confuse, then. That's to confuse the enemy. <laughs> I was I was too distracted by that incredibly realistic fake snow they had put all over the place. Um, okay, any other business? Ne next meeting. Next meeting is um I think Taylor. <laughs> Hang on, I think it's November 19th, but hold on. Probably right. Is that Thanksgiving? Uh, I don't know. It's November 21st, and that, that is Thanksgiving thing. week. Yes. Where we hope to finally be able to report on the final discussion of the church. CPA proposal oh, good. because the CPC is meeting this Wednesday. Uh, Taylor, <laughs> sorry. Well, I'm going to be adjourned. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I'm sure we all agree. Let's adjourn. Yep. All right, thank uh, you. Bye. Bye. bye.